What's up, everybody? Big, big facts. Yo, man. I want to speak on um, this Vlad interview where uh, uh, Spice One is commenting on Michael J. White calling Tupac effeminate. And uh, Spice One was doing a whole lot of uh, stuttering on that. Because, <laughs> you know, they was referring back to the video where Tupac was 17 in high school, in that interview where he was talking real effeminate, they call girls the B word and all this. Um, I couldn't watch the whole video, man. Spice One was stuttering too much. I, I I couldn't watch it because you know, in the hood we talk and never switch up. You know what I'm saying? We talk to keep it real at all times. And to be honest, I know a lot of people want to give Tupac passes. You know what I'm saying? We give two pop passes when we when we wouldn't give anybody else no pass. You know what I'm talking about? Because in reality, to keep it real with y'all, um, that's not respected in the hood, bro. You can't grow up so you can't grow up like that. Well, you know th that to be honest, to Pac, that moment in time is not fair because Pac is like an an anomaly, man. He is a different breed. He 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 very different. You know what I'm saying? But if you didn't know Pac, or if you grew up, you know what I'm saying? If you didn't know Pac, if you were from any other hood and you, you saw that guy, and then you saw that guy trying to be hard, you wouldn't respect it. You wouldn't respect it at all. You call him phony or fake, or everything. No, you wouldn't respect that, man. You know what I'm saying? I don't know no gang. I don't know no tough guy that would want to hang with a guy like that. That talk like that. You know what I'm talking about? A guy that talk like that would get clowned. In high school. A guy like that would be called a faggot. And just keep it 100. In high school. You know? Guy like that would be called gay in high school. You know what I'm talking about? And a guy like that probably would be doing weird stuff. You know, also. You know what I'm saying? You can't you can't go back to being hard. You can't be hard and act like that at the same time. You know? That's usually how it happens. But like I said, Tupac is, a, is an anomaly. Because if you go back to what uh, Ray Love said, Ray Love said that same guy we see in this video, in that video, was beating up grown men, was fighting, was fighting grown men. Was, was a brave motherfucker, you know what I'm saying? Was standing up at a young age. You know, fighting grown men. Like I said, he wasn't he wasn't this effeminate character that you see on this little interview clip. He might have showed effeminate. He might he might have showed his he might have showed his effeminate side right here in this video in this interview. But when he went back to the hood, he was a stand up dude, and he got respect. You know what I'm saying? He wasn't going around smacking his lips, uh, batting his eyelashes, switching as he walked in the hood, snapping his fingers. He wasn't doing that in the hood. You know what I'm saying? As this video will lead you to believe, oh, he's a little pre he's he's a little preemie. He's soft. You know what I'm saying? He got respect. Like I said, he did stand up shit. And in this interview, don't do him justice, of course. But hey, man, Tupac told y'all he got a hard side and a soft side. That's that duality of Tupac. Hard side and soft side. You know what I'm saying? And so it's kind of hard to defend this video 
um, when we saw later on the thug life Tupac, <laughs> you know, that it's kind of hard. That's why Spice One is, is effed up. It's it is it, uh it's comp it's stuttering because it he, he can't he can't make an excuse for this shit. He can't. Tupac is an anomaly, man. You know, that's probably what that's probably all he could say. He could say, "Man, I'm gonna keep it real with you." Any other dude would get client. Any other dude, I can't vouch for this shit. There's some sucker. Sh There's some fake shit right here from from the dude I know. That that ain't Tupac. That ain't Tupac. And we don't and we don't ride with niggas that switch up. We don't ride with niggas like this when they get around certain people. They they switch their personality. No, we don't ride with that. I mean, every I mean, of course you. When you talking to a preacher, you're not gonna talk to a preacher like you talk. You're not gonna be called, "What's up, nigga? What's up, boy?" You're not gonna be saying that to the preacher or the president if you meet them. I mean, we all know how to talk, but that ain't switching up. That's just having respect. You know what I'm saying? That ain't got nothing to do with switching up. You're not even even if you are respectful, you're not switching up your whole personality. You know what I'm saying? It's a difference. Tupac was switching up his whole personality when around certain people. And that 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 ain't no stand up shit, to be honest with you. I don't ride with that. Like the way I talk, the way I communicate, is the way I communicate with everybody. That's pretty much what, what any any guy do. Any uh real dude to do. Even like if Spice One go to the president, he gonna be the same Spice One. Yeah, to meet the president, he gonna be the same Spice One. I would think. Even though he may be respect, he may he ain't gonna talk to the president like he talked to, his, to 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 his own boy in the hood, but he's still basically the same guy. You know. But Tupac would, and I, and I hear this a lot. That's why you got a lot of people saying, "Oh, Tupac wasn't like that. Tupac was soft. Sent. Tupac was sensitive. Tupac, you know, was this and that. He was a sensitive dude, man. Yeah, Tupac was acting a bit. Yeah, but Tupac whole life, real life, was a goddamn movie. His his real life was a movie, bro. Like. He deserve an Oscar for his real life acting. You know what I'm saying? Not not on the movie screen. He acted in real life. His real life was a movie, and maybe and maybe that's just was his personality. I think that I I I think that wasn't something he was trying to do on purpose. I think that's just who he was. His personality was that. You know what I'm saying? It, it's something he probably was. I I I think it's something he wasn't even conscious of doing. I think it's just who he was. When he got around people, he switched up. Yeah. When he got around certain people, he switched up. Yeah. And you can't do that. Anybody beside Tupac would get clowned for doing shit like that. That's not keeping it 100, bro. I mean, niggas would look at you different. If you with your homeboy, you being this hard thug nigga, then you, you see this white man. And you start acting corny and cracking jokes. Niggas gonna be looking at you like, what the fuck wrong with this nigga, bro? Dude, you, a f what the fuck is you doing, bro? I mean, they gonna look at you sideways like, man, this, this fake ass nigga, bro. Look at this fake ass nigga right here. Wanna be just like Jack, but Jack is calling you a nigga behind your back. <laughs> And niggas start doing, we're brothers. Niggas start being corny as hell. Yeah, we go, you gonna get clown. Niggas, man, man, fuck away from me, man. You can't hang with me no more. Yeah, niggas will do you like that. But Tupac, like I said, it's something different. And I don't think later on as he got older, he wasn't, I don't think he was as, as extreme as he was. Well, I guess he was, according to Michael J. White. That is an extreme side. Um, but you know, rappers, 
would lose their career for this shit like this, man. Back in the day. Rappers was getting exposed for being fake, man. And losing their career. Like the lady female boss. The rapper boss. How hard she used to be. When they found out that boss came, you know, she wasn't, she didn't grow up in the hood. She wasn't a real gangster like she portrayed on her albums. Yo, her career, her career got, got, got uh, deleted, deleted. They end, that ended her career when they found out, when they exposed her, when the magazine exposed her for being a phony. She lost her career, bro. And I think other, yeah, cause she, 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 she rapped like she was hard, bro. Like, like she was a straight up gangster. Kind of find out she used to do hair. She grew up in the suburbs and all this type of shit. And that ended her career, bro. She was exposed. Nobody wanted to listen to Boss again. Nilly Vanilli. When they found out that they were lip singing, nobody, they, that, they lost their career. Their career ended. You know? Vanilla Ice. When they found out uh, he wasn't from the hood. When they saw he was a white boy and he wasn't from the hood. His career ended. You know. Because people thought Vanilla Ice was black. When we heard Vanilla. Until we saw him on TV. And then found out. He wasn't really from. You know, the area. So, the 90s was exposing a lot of fake rappers. Now, I'm going to tell you. Tupac was doing, you know what I'm saying, was, you know, was out there. And had he lived, and Jay-Z or any other rapper... Biggie, well, you know, they didn't know about this video. Had they got a hold, had Jay-Z or Biggie got a hold, well, Biggie, I don't think Biggie had the nerve. Biggie didn't have, somebody had to have the nerve to diss pop and put this video. If if any rapper, I think Mob Deep could have did it. I think Jay-Z would have did it. Biggie possibly could have did it. If he got fed up, he should have did it. To be honest with you, if you found out. The man said he fucked your wife. And you know, after that, bro, you can do what you want. I mean, you should be able to be mad enough to end this man's career. But if Jay-Z would have got a hold of Tupac in that tutu picture. <laughs> in that, uh. Tupac in that ballet picture in that dance class <laughs> it looked like he went a a tutu <laughs> oh, hey, it is what it is man. if, if Jay Z would have got a hold of that or if Jay Z would have got a hold of this video of Tupac talking the way he was talking at a young age it's very likely Jay Z would have ended Tupac career bro you know, it's very likely Tupac career would have been done. He would have got probably would have got beat up in bottom death row game at the death row game. It probably would have beat up. <laughs> he probably would have had to leave death row. He probably would have had to left California, bro. He probably would have to leave California, bro. If that shit came out. You know what I mean? I mean, this would have been a shock to the system, bro. Remember, this L.A. game banging. These niggas just penitentiary niggas, bro. Around death row. That shit was to come out. They they, they couldn't stand by it, bro. That would have broke up the whole crew. That that, that would have caused war in, the, in within the death row crew. Like, some niggas, some niggas probably would have stayed loyal. Some game members probably would have stayed loyal to the pop. But a lot of, a lot of them niggas... Would have turned on Pac if that shit, if that video would have came out, if that picture would have came out. Cause niggas was hard when they was in that when it, when they was Tupac age, at seventeen. Niggas hard as fuck 
gang bangers, killing niggas. And they see a nigga like that, and they around this nigga. But now he don't. Now they see him switching all up, acting hard. They ain't gonna look at Tupac like we look at Tupac. They gonna see him as a fake ass nigga. They gonna see that nigga. Oh, this nigga was one of them gang studio gangster niggas that getting expo- that got exposed. They gonna look at him as a suburb type. Oh, this nigga was a suburb type. Now he's pretending to be hard. They gonna look at him like how easy he look at that Dr. Dre. Now the thing about Dr. Dre, easy didn't end his career. Only reason easy didn't end Dr. Dre career because Dr. Dre got with Death Row and got with Snoop. And really blow Snoop up. He kind of did end Dre career. Because Dre found Snoop. And that saved Dr. Dre. Because if it was just. When Easy e exposed Dr. Dre. You ever notice Dr. Dre never started rapping hard again. He never rapped that game. He never started rapping like he was a hard ass killer again. After that. Dr. Dre switched his whole style up after that. That really hurt. When Easy exposed Dr. Dre in that picture. You know what I'm saying? They got Dr. Dre wearing lipstick, mascara, and everything. That really hurt Dre, man. That really exposed Dre. Because we thought Dre was hard. You know? And that really affected Dre. But Snoop Dogg and Suge Knight got going to save Dre. Death Row saved Dre, to be real with you. And, and, and on the top of that, he had Snoop Dogg rapping a, a, with him. That helped Dre. Because Dre didn't have no comeback for that easy e this. You know what I'm saying? He couldn't, he couldn't, he couldn't have an excuse. He he actually admitted, yeah, a rapper's entertainment. You know, and, and to be honest with you, rap is all entertainment. I ain't no gangster. Well, many people thought he was. Rapper, I'm a studio gangster. Rapper, rap is really all entertainment, man. So he he kind of ended, he kind of damaged Drake's career facade, the hard facade. But like I said, Death Row's talent helped keep Dre afloat, and uh, people gave Dre a pass. But that 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 isn't as damaging. What Easy E said is not as damaging of what. A rapper like Jay Z or, or any other rapper that Tupac this could do to Tupac. They would they could totally demolish Pac. Cause Pac is wearing a goddamn tutu. A tight tights, whatever, ballerina tights or something. <laughs> I think I, I don't think Tupac would have survived that. I don't think Tupac Tupac career would have definitely changed after that. Definitely. I don't think he could claim thug no more after that. <laughs> he wouldn't be able to say thug no more after that. Call himself thug. You know what I'm saying? Tupac, well, but Tupac could talk now. So, then again. But like I said, I don't care what people went, people went about to listen. They probably wouldn't listen. And then know what Tupac had to say. After that, Tupac probably would have went into politics. Like he said he wanted to do, you know. But yeah, man. I mean, he's bigger in life now in death than he was in life. And now we give Pac a lot of passes now because he's dead. He can't defend himself, so we let it slide. But if he was alive and this came out, I I think it would have ended his career because he's already he already done did. Record breaking numbers on Death Row. He already All Eyes on Me was big was his biggest album. He done did it. So he done accomplished everything he ever wanted to do. Movies and music. So what else to do? You know what I'm saying? So if this was to come out, I could see his career taking a nosedive. Unlike Dre, where Dre had Snoop and still could build on doing more. He was anticipated on doing more. But 
pot was at the top of the peak, top of the mountain. So you know, when you at the top of the mountain, ain't nothing else to do but fall after that. So you on already you you on, you you on the top of the mountain already. So if this information was to come out, this career ending, ending information was to come out, his career would have took a nosedive, and it probably would have never rebounded back, because a lot of people would have lost faith in Tupac. You know what I'm saying? Would have lost confidence. This career in the shit, because that is career in the shit, bro. And a lot of people career ended for a lot less than that. Ja Rule, 50 Cent killed Ja Rule ja career for a lot less shit than that, bro. But then again, is Ja Rule not Tupac? But then again, like I said, Tupac was at the top already. Nothing to do but go down after that. And I think that would have been the catalyst to kill his career. Peace.